23. 23 is the number we have to be thinking about. Because this is the number of seats Democrats need to pick up if they're gonna win back the House in November. Now they can definitely get there, but it's by no means certain they're gonna be able to. So the question is, is there a blue wave coming? Okay, so there are a few things we can look at to try and figure out if this blue wave is coming. Right. Is this what they did to Picasso? <laughs> First thing. Buyer's remorse. It's like the country elects a president. Then two years later, the question usually ends up being not so much if the president's party is going to gain seats, but rather how many they lose. Now, there have been a couple of exceptions when the president's party has gained seats. Once in 1998, when there was a backlash against Republicans trying to impeach Clinton. And once in 2002, when the country surged behind George W. Bush in the wake of the September 11th attacks. Which brings us to the next point. Low equals big. Okay, so check this out. If you look at some of the more recent American presidents, from Reagan in 82 to Obama in 2014, this is how many seats they've gained and lost at various midterm elections. But watch what happens when you include their approval rating. History shows that the higher a president's approval rating, the more capable he is of combating significant losses in seats. Likewise, the lower your approval ratings are, the more susceptible you are to losing seats. And so, where is Donald Trump? Well, we'll find out on election day where he lands, but what we do know is this. So far, his approval rating has been pretty steady. It's been in the low 40s or the high 30s almost his entire presidency. The magic number. So this is what the House looks like right now. And what Democrats need to do in the election in November is they need to take 23 of these red seats, these Republican seats, and they need to flip them. And if they do that, and Democrats flip the House. Prime targets. So for Democrats to get those seats, there are a lot of places they can look around the country, but there's one type of district that really stands out. It's the 25 districts across the USA that Republicans hold that were also won by Hillary Clinton in 2016. So what we're saying is that the Democrats need 23 seats. And they do have 25 prime targets, and there are some more seats outside of this they could pick off too. But the biggest problem, even if all of the ingredients are there for Democrats in this age of polarization, there just may not be as many targets as there used to be. So there are 25 obvious targets for Democrats, and there are dozens of others that they're working furiously to try to flip. The wild card. In 2016, all of the polls spelled doom for Donald Trump, but he won anyway. In 2018, could we be in for another surprise? The Democrats, they have some big challenges here, but look, if anything, History is probably on their side. They're the opposition party in a midterm election with a president whose approval ratings are not that great. And that number they need to hit certainly seems attainable. But in the age of Trump, we have to ask ourselves this, how much is history worth anymore? If you like that, you can find more mixed reality videos just over here.